Hello, it's Clinton Gray, and in this tutorial, we're going to discuss using offline maps in Google Maps and what the benefits are to using them. All right, let's get stuck into it. We open up Google Maps. Okay, first thing we're going to do is going to make sure we signed in to Google Maps. First things first, we need to create offline maps. So we're going to select to create your own map using a two finger pinch motion to determine the area that you're going to ride in or travel in and you download it. So once it's downloaded we'll move into the settings. We'll move down to settings, open it up. There's a couple of things I want you to do. Google location settings, leave them as they are. Allow it to access your location and in my opinion just use the high accuracy setting and then offline map setting. That's going to be critical. All right. You can automatically update your maps offline. Switch it on. You can download automatically. Okay. And your download preferences choose to Wi Fi only. Save that. Okay. And get out of there. Right. The benefit to, to using maps offline. And the first thing we need to do is in order to, to save money uh, on data, but also on, on battery, etc., is to switch this option on Wi-Fi only. And the reason for that is the moment you get out of a Wi-Fi area, Google Maps immediately goes to your offline maps. And in that, you, you're able to get your directions, you can see your routes, and you can use navigation and search locations. So basically the only thing that's not available to you is you won't get any traffic information, alternative routes won't be available, and lane guidance. So for most of us, I don't think that's critical, but the main thing is you want to save cell phone data and you want to save your battery life. So in my opinion, it's well worth using these options. So you can get out of here and if you go back to your menu and you want to see your offline maps, all of your maps that you have downloaded are listed here. That's it for today. It's a very simple tutorial, but it will save you money and it will save you battery life. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't hesitate to like and subscribe and support the channel. If you have any constructive criticism, please don't hesitate to put it in the comments section below. And we will see you in the next tutorial.